Let's check in on scores from the Show Me State at the Troy Baseball Classic. Hannibal losing to Jackson 9-3. They also lost to Troy Buchanan 10-1. Louisiana, the Bulldogs losing to Silex on the diamond 8-6 the final on that one. Also, the Clark County Indians get a big win over Scarlet County. Four zip is the final there. Soccer action, yeah, MHHA soccer action. The girls were in action. Canton, unfortunately, losing against Kirksville 6-0 is your final. In college baseball action, the Gym City, the Wildcats of Culver Stockton were playing host to William Penn in the heart of America Athletic Conference double dip that got underway just about 1230 this afternoon at the QU Stadium. And uh, in game one, the Wildcats uh, posted a big five to four win over William Penn after scoring two runs in the bottom of the seventh inning. Yeah, it was high drama. That win snapped a 10 game losing skid for Culver. Let's check out game two. You could say it was really a dog day afternoon in the yard. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. And in a manner of speaking, and calm down. As the Cats were looking to down WP, and a, that's a cute dog. And a double dip. Top of the first we go. Culver starter Stefan Stockwell was in a zone. Watch the six foot four lefty here. He's out of Ankena, Iowa. He returned. He retired the first three batters that he faced today. The Statesman. Well, how can I say it politely? They had no answer for this guy in the first frame. Three seven had five strikeouts. On the day, stock cooled off a little bit later on, though. He gave up a solo home run in the second to open the scoring. The lefty only lasted just over two innings and gave up four hits, three runs, two earned runs, and two walks. Not too bad, indeed. Uh, William Penn, though, scored five runs in the fifth inning en route to a 14-2 win over the Wildcats of Culver in the Gym City. Wildcats now 5-15 on the season and 1-5 in the heart. That's a wrap for sports. We'll be back.